This is a short video on merge sorting. Before you watch the video, make sure that you've watched the videos on algorithms and their components, and that you've seen the introductory video on sorting. It would also be helpful if you've had a look at the video on recursion. Merging is the combination of separate things to form a single thing. Sorting, we've seen before, is the arrangement of a set of things into some prescribed sequence. If we put these things together, merging and sorting, that is we merge merging and sorting, we get merge sorting, which is a way of organising things into a prescribed sequence that involves breaking up a list of unsorted entities, building short sorted lists and merging them together to produce a final sorted list with all of the elements in it. We'll see how to do that in the video. So to begin with at the top you can see here an unsorted list of numbers and at the bottom is a sorted list of the same numbers. So we'd like to go obviously from the top to the bottom in a number of steps and that's what we'll run through now. The first thing we need to do in merge sort is actually to break the initial list down recursively into sublists and to break the sublists down into smaller sublists. And we do this by halving the list at each time. Now in the example shown here, there's an odd number of cells. So I've just decided to break the list into its first four elements and its last three elements. And that gives us a left and a right sublist. Okay, now each of these, in turn, needs to be examined by our breaking down algorithm and we decompose it. In the case on the left, we split it down the middle and we end up with two sublists, a left and a right sublist. In the case on the right, well, here I'm going to choose to put 8 and 91 into a sublist and 12 into a sublist by itself. And we keep doing this recursively until we've got single elements in each of our lists. So we recursively subdivide 41 and 33 into two separate elements, 41 and 33. We do the same for the next pairs, 49 and 7, and 8 and 91. And lastly, 12 doesn't need subdividing anymore. It's a single element, so we just copy that across. Now what we've done is recursively subdivide the list in half, in half, in half again until we've got separate elements laid out. Now the next stage of the process, we can forget about this recursive subdivision and we'll just begin with the separate elements that we've split from the list. What we want to do now is recombine these elements into short sublists that are sorted so of the first two elements, 41 and 33, we pick the one that is lowest, which is 33, because we're going to sort our list from lowest number to highest. And we put that down into the next level, if you like, and we start making a sublist with it. Now, 33 and 41, 33 is lowest, 41 is highest. So we build this sublist of two elements, 33 and 41. Now we look at the next pairs, 49 and 7. 7 is the lowest of the two. So you put that down first into its own little new sublist, and 49 after it. So now we have two sorted sublists, each with two elements. Now we look at 8 and 91. In this case, 8 already comes first, and 91 comes second. Now 12 doesn't have a list. It's all by itself. We just copy it across. It's a sorted sublist of length 1. Okay, now what we're going to do is take each of these sublists and we're going to sort them or we're going to merge them together. So we'll first take the 33, 41, 7 and 49 sublists and we'll merge them together. And we do this by looking at the first element in each of the two sublists and we pick whichever is the lowest. So in this case, 7 is lower than 33. So first we need to place 7 in the next sublist, the merge sublist. Okay, now we've got sublists 33 and 41 and 49 by itself because we've already taken the 7. So we now look to see is 33 lower 
than 49? It is. So the next number we copy down is 33. Now we have sublists remaining of 41 and 49. 41 is the lowest, so that's the next one we copy. 49 is the next one, and there we go. We've built up a sublist now by merging these two sublists together. Now we're going to do the same over on the right. We've got sublist 8 and 91, and the sublist 12. We look at the first element of each of the sublists, in this case 8 and 12, and we put the, the lowest one into our new sublist, and that's 8. Now we're left with 91 and 12, and we take the lowest, which is 12, and then 91. So now we have only two sublists, but they're sorted. We've got 7, 33, 41, 49, a sorted list and 8, 12, and 91, a sorted list. Now we do the same thing. So what we want to do here is take the front of each sublist and see which element is the lowest and copy that down into the next level. So, first one we have to compare 7 and 8. 7 is the lowest. So we put that down into our final sorted list. Now we've got to compare 33 and 8. And 8 is the lowest. So we copy that down here. Now we have to compare 33 and 12. We've already got 7, so therefore the next number in the list on the left is 33. And we've already got 8, so the next number in the list on the right is 12. Of 33 and 12, 12 is the lowest. So we copy it down to the next level. Now we've got to compare 33 and 91. 33 is the lowest, so we copy that down next. Now we compare 41 and 91. 41 is the lowest, so we copy that down into the list. Lastly, we're comparing 49 and 91. 49 is the lowest, and 91 is left. So now we've produced, by reassembly, 7, 8, 12, 33, 41, 49, and 91, a sorted list. Now this part here was a reconstruction, a merging, of the individual elements in sorted order. We've just done a merge sort. Here's the algorithm for the merge sort. As you can see, it takes a single parameter, which is a list we'll call A list. That's the unsorted list. If the length of the A list is less than or equal to 1, then we just return it. That is, if we've subdivided our lists down into single elements, then we don't need to do anything else because there's no more merging or sorting to be done. A single element is a single element. So this is the stopping condition. That's when we stop breaking the list down into sub-lists. If the list that we've been given as a parameter has more than one element, then we need to decompose it. So we do a recursive subdivision, as we saw before. We split the list into its first and its second halves. So the left list equals the first half of the A list, and the right list equals the second half of the A list. Then we recursively call merge sort on the left list and the right list. That is, we've broken the list down into halves, and we now do a merge sort on each. Go back and have a look at the example we just gave and see how this recursive splitting works. Just remind yourself. After we've split the list, split the list, finally we need to put it back together again. And that's the last part of the, the routine here where we return the merging of the left and the right lists. And we do that by calling the routine merge. We'll have a look at that on the next slide now. Here's the merge routine. While the length of the left list is greater than zero, or the length of the right list is greater than zero, then we still have merging to do. So what we do is select the lowest value from the front of either the left or the right list, and we place it onto the result list. And that's how we merge things together. Once we've finished doing this, that is we've gone through the left and the right lists, then return the result list. Now I haven't filled in the algorithm here in the while loop, 
Go back, watch the example again of me merging the lists. Try it with some numbers of your own until you understand it. And once you understand it, see if you can write the algorithm to fill in module merge. So in summary, merge sort involves the subdivision of an unsorted list. We keep breaking it down recursively until we've got individual elements. And obviously there's no sorting to be done on individual elements. Then we gradually rebuild these individual elements into short sorted lists. And we do this by selecting the smallest number from each of the front of the sublists and placing it into a resulting list or sublist. We keep doing this recursively until we've built a complete sorted list. Thanks for watching. Go and have a practice and see if you can write the algorithm for merge sort. Don't worry if it takes you a little while or if you get stuck, it will click.